Welcome everybody, welcome to another video coming to you from the Tomb of Illumination. This video is about the, uh, the flat earthers down there in uh, uh, Ponta, I always think of Ponta Negro or Ponta del Este, but it's Ponta something or other at the bottom of the south, southern uh, South America there, ready to go on their Antarctic trip. Now it's funny watching them, eh? It's, uh, after all the times I've explained it, I don't know why they don't understand it. But um, some globus said it's like watching a bunch of kids, but to me it's like watching a bunch of kids too, because they've got no idea. But, you know, it, it is tricky to understand this whole flat earth system. All these um, parabolic mirrored projections of the sun. It's all scattered through history, the esoteric images or the word mirror, pictures of mirror. Look, here's a mirror. Here's a mirror. Gee, look, look, it's oval shaped too. Why is it oval shaped? Well, that's to do with the Physicopiscus. But they knew everything was mirror shaped. This is why you have mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? All those nursery rhymes all, are all connected to the flat earth design. All the myths ancient uh, le you know all the legends and uh, everything the Egyptians have left it all so I, I've discovered how what it, how it all works and all that so I'm just going to try and run over it and try and make it easy explain it simply I hope now this is how you have to imagine earth because there's your center north northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere is always moving around it so as the northern hemisphere turns, the south revolves around it 360 degrees, as this does one 360 degrees rotation, right? It's like they're meshing together at certain points. But they don't, but you've got to be aware that really there's a, there's a three to two ratio where they don't actually mesh until they overlay in a certain time of the year then it becomes balanced and they mesh beautifully and that's when the two there's an there's an alignment a divine alignment and it's all connected to the Milky Ways because each hemisphere has their Milky Way and it comes around and lines up like this that's the bridging and religion crossing the Red Sea and all that sort of thing before it collapses back opens back out again because everything comes through this gap and then disperses. So you have to imagine this, this thing moving all the way around. Okay? And then it comes in for an overlay during our southern hemisphere um, winter. It goes right up here to give them the summer. So the overlay Let's have a yellow one today. For the northern hemisphere summer, we have the overlay. It's where the Physicopiscus comes into it, okay? This field comes right up into here. Uh, overlay in the southern hemisphere. What? For the northern hemisphere summer, we have the overlay. Oh, but the southern hemisphere summer has the separation after the 17th of October. It becomes a dual cell. It splits off, okay? You've got to understand that. Splits off and then you've got this, this gap. There's two separate star rotations. They, see, the, see the motion? They, come, they, they spin in together like this. Uh, now, at this time of the year, when the, you know, they've all gone down there, December, we've got the dual system. So, after the 17th of October, the sun pops into the south, it separates. But it's still in the north because um, this is where it gets really tricky. The actual sun is right back here. It's pure plasma, unseen to man. And it's in the Milky Way. Let's draw a Milky Way, we'll do it black. Like sackcloth. It's the Milky Way. Okay, well, basically, this would be the Milky Way to here too. 
it, it's a bit beyond the alignment now because it's separated. So they're not lining up now. They line up in the overlay, okay? So they're not lined up. So you've got to bear in mind, wherever the sun is, it's on a magnetic field line, which is curved. They're not straight. They're curved. That's curved. They're all curved. It's a toroidal field, remember? So... What happens is the sun pops out to the south. But due to the fact that the actual sun's back here in pure plasma and is projected out into our realm there, the tropical celestial gap, or, you know, just the tropical gap. The tropical gap in our realm is an exploded view image of what's happening right in here around the black hole center in the ecliptic plane. The divine creation ecliptic plane. We're told it's all out here, which it is. It's a blown up extension. But it's all hidden back in here in the central vortex of creation, if you've been following my videos. So out here is just an exploded image of what happens right back here in the center of creation. All comes back to one singularity. Out here it's obviously dual at the moment. Becomes a split cell after the 17th of October. So you've got to imagine the, 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 the actual sun of creation is turning around the horizon of the black hole. As it turns, this Milky Way is turning with it because the sun is in the Milky Way. So this is your timekeeper, like a clock arm, okay? So because it's projected into our arm, it sits there. So it just turns like this. As this, as this turns, that, it's, it's all turning. It's all turning together. All this field here turns this way. It just follows this, this 15 degree per hour turn. So now that it's a split cell, well, let's go back a bit, because it's there, it's projected out here, right? And so it's out here, but it's cast back to the northern hemisphere. Uh, and it's cast into the southern hemisphere. Due to the, the parabolic mirrored projection, this, this, our sun images are supposed to be in here, right? Well, we, we don't actually see them there. We see them down on our arc of horizon. It's all projected back to us within our arc of horizon. Every man is inside this, uh, his own arc out to his horizon. That's all he sees. Three miles out, three miles out, must be three miles up. All the images are set in his arc of horizon. So even though we're told it's out here, which is, in, which is a way to understand it because... It's basically a trinity. Our whole realm is a trinity. You've got to think of three aspects all the time. So it's there, but it's cast into our arc of horizon, comes back to the observer. There, there's the northern hemisphere, there's the sun. It's just the way it works. Just get that in your head. But at the same time, it's cast into the southern hemisphere. But, but now it's a split, split off. See, most of the time, you imagine this is the, is the overlay, and the sun's in that overlay region, moving up to the north, moving back out. But then it goes pop, and it flips out, and we get another image out in the far 66 degrees. That's the mirror of this 90 degrees Arctic. It's the anti-Arctic, it's 66 degrees. You go to the sun way out here, because it's all holographically projected back to back in. So it can't be beyond this field. This is why it ends up being around the 66 degree mark. It goes around the observer. So anyone out here in Antarctica sees it go around them for a couple of days. That's why you're seeing it, right? That's why they're seeing it there. But you have to imagine everything is turning or this way. Southern hemisphere goes that way. It's turning all the way around keeps turning, turning, okay? So you've got to imagine the Arctic sun at 66 degrees is turning too. So it's in that position there. But as it's turning, it's moving around, around more, around more for Australia, 
it's one way to image it, but then you, you've got to realise at, at the same time, like if this was, say, 6 or midday, it's going to be in this alignment at midday as it, as it comes around for, for their, let's say, Australia's midday. So there's New Zealand's midday, and then when the sun revolves around, they get it there at midday. But if we freeze it there and just move your sun, it's, it's, swinging, it's swinging around. Everything swings around because it's all, it all has to revolve one full rotation to get back to the start again. One 360 degree rotation to get back to the start. All the stars in here are all, it's a slice of the pie you could say from out of the center. It's, a, it's an image from here but it's inverted. It's back to front, inside out from there. So he gets a slice of his star, he'll get his slice, he gets his slice. Okay, so let's say it was uh, 9 o'clock at night there, or it had to be 9 o'clock at night here, and say 12 o'clock at night here. He's not going to see exactly the same images as him in star rotations, because they've revolved, revolved that much. Okay, it's, it's revolt, it's like, he sees it like that, and it's turned like that, he's going to see it like this, and then you backtrack it, back up to there. This is how it all works, so the sun's just going around here as a split cell, split off, but up in New Zealand here, midday, there's our sun. There's Antarctic Sun. They've got one too. There's, there's a gap between here. Uh, yeah, well, there's your alignment. You've still got your alignment there. Uh, yeah, so it's all in this alignment. But then come, come um, night time, when the sun, the sun's moved around. It's now over this side of the world. Well, the sun, the sun turns up over here. The sun's over here. It's still going around here, you see. And, and this is where they tell you you live on a ball because... Uh, yeah, it's, you know, let's draw that picture there. Because uh, if the sun's gone way down there, um, they're, just saying, they're just saying it's basically gone over the ball, over the other side of the ball. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's go, it's gone over that other side of the north, around, and we're seeing it, you know, up and behind that side of the ball. But now this is how it works. You have to understand this phase shift. Uh, you know, Ken Wheeler's shown it with magnetism. This is why you see that those ancient images of the two eyes, because that's that's that. It's that, what I, um, the black hole, the void, the, uh, you know, there's plenty of names for it. He showed it, he shows it when he's playing with the magnetism. He's got the magnet underneath, and he's got the sphere of sound, he's got the magnet there, and he's moving the magnet around like this, and you see the, it pop over the image in the ferrous cell and they just pop over into the south when he's moving this around. Pop. So the sun is down and out. You have to understand the sun is down and out on the ecliptic plane, see? The ecliptic plane flexes and it's now flexed down and out. So the sun's down and out. Although you still get a sun up because the original sun's back here, hidden in the Arctic, you don't know it, you're still getting a sun up here, Well, because at the end of the day, the sun's anywhere along one magnetic field line. Like, let's say it went around like that. It went around like that. Around like that. The sun is anywhere on here. Mir mirrored to the southern hemisphere. 
So the sun is down and out, and otherwise, it, otherwise it comes level at the true equinox, and then flexes up for the northern hemisphere. Okay, the sun is down and out on the ecliptic, on the ecliptic, ecliptic plane, the actual ecliptic plane, the real one. There's no, there's no plane on a globe. There's only a plane at the top of the central vortex of creation. It's the wave. All the planets are on a wave. The high point of the wave. Focal point. Everyone has one in there. Inside the arc of horizon. There's a focal point. You just see the images of all the, all the planets and everything. That's the ecliptic plane. It flexes down. For down and out southern summer. And then basically comes in and up for the northern hemisphere. The sun and this overlay comes in, overlays. Uh, sun is down and out after the 17th of October. An image of the sun pops into the far south as a magnetic phase shift. There is dark... No. Let's start confusing everybody. There's a gap between the two fields. No darkness. Uh, when the two fields separate, it has to split off as the two separate cycles. This is the sun's declination motion, which is separate to its daily circles. Okay? So you've got to realize there's two, two motions. There's the daily, just goes around every day. But at the same time as it's going around, it's flexing up and down on the ecliptic plane which is governed by the well that governs this this moving in of the fields overlay and back out again so as the field the ecliptic plane flexes down then the, the field comes out when the when the ecliptic plane starts flexing back up from from equinox equal uh, it starts coming in, and that's so. The, imagine the overlay. The sun is in there. This governing the sun in the season, in and out, in and out, which is in and out in the ecliptic plane. Um, uh, yeah, the tropical celestial tropical gap around here. It closes up. Oh, this comes right up over to here, and then parts again. So these are down and out. Up and in. It's a tropical gap. Just, it's just a, it's a cross section. Say, northern hemisphere. Because you've got the Arctic just here. Then you do another one. Arctic. So northern hemisphere. Tropical gap. Southern hemisphere. Sixty six degrees of the sun. But you've also got a sun. This time of the year, you've got another sun up here. It's sort of like, goes like this. So it's lateral 21st of December, but then it starts rising up. It's going up to be vertical. In the bottom half or the bottom portion, you're losing at night into the night side of the cycle. Okay, some lateral starts working its way right up to, to Cap uh, Capricorn here. Now, I'll put a comment on their uh, the videos they're doing down there. What was I going to say then? Uh, regarding the sun. See, the sun comes from the southeast. This is south. Coming around from the southeast. East. And he's having problems with the compass. He's getting all confused. I told them that at the beginning. Stick with the Northern Hemisphere compass, a basic compass. And just bear in mind, it flips when you get beyond Capricorn. It doesn't point to North anymore. North becomes Antarctic. Because the Antarctic and the Arctic are both North Poles. You've never been taught that. One's just, this is just a weak force, it's a strong force. 
I hope I'm right. Otherwise, it, it just falls back on the strong force and weak force, and it could still point out. But I'm 99% sure it flips and starts pointing because both tip compasses point down into the Arctic. They point up, and you come to the tropics. Both sides of the tropics are the South Poles. North, 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 all mirrored out. North, Arctic, anti-Arctic. North Poles, North Poles, North Poles. Come in, South Poles, South Poles, South Poles, South Poles, South Poles, South Poles. So this is where, so this is curved, so that's also the Milky Way. Because the sun is tucked into the Milky Way. Okay. Turns like a clock arm. That's why the sun is the king, he's the clock, he's the timekeeper. Races ahead of all the stars. If he races ahead, then the backdrop of night will expose four minutes more of stars as the sun's raced ahead, which means the stars have sh turned up four minutes earlier than the night before. And every silly bugger on earth thinks the stars are quicker. <laughs> Get this in your heads, everybody. This is how it works. Sun, image, sun, image, sun, image. There's an image all the way along here. Depends on what latitude you're standing on. But it's it's curved like this. Bear that in mind. It's curved. That's why they call it Northern Hemisphere, the spider web in celestial navigation. Think about it. Think about all these latitudes and the curve like this. It's like a spider web. Now, this, this splitting off and all this action all goes back to the central vortex of creation. Shall I rub one of these off? I want to take a photo, maybe. You can see this. Central vortex of creation. And there's the S curve in there. It's a vortex. It's like a pump up and down, up and down. No, I should say contracts and expands the contraction is the coming in or or pushing and pushing it down pushes this, the field out to the south and then releases brings it all back up into the north this is the the movement of the ecliptic plane it will go this way up into the north Equilibrium, equilibrium. The sun is the sun is on all these lines at that time of the year or day or whatever. Vortex motion, compaction, contraction, and expansion. Imagine your heart. It's the same thing. You figured out the the heart is like a, is a vortex. It's a big twisted S curve. There's an S curve of creation. That's why man is of the earth. Midnight sun, look, still out there, because it doesn't go anywhere, it's still in there, stuck in there. But then it starts drifting, as the, as the whole thing starts coming back in, then this whole thing's going to start coming in. But as it comes in, it starts going up. So imagine horizontal, as it comes in, it's going like this, like a wave. Goes back up the Great Pyramid, because that's what the pyramid's representing. The more it goes vertical, the more you're losing into the nighttime side of the 24 hour cycle. This comes in, goes ah, to the center, out. Look at this. Expansion, contraction up to the north, expansion out to the south, contraction up to the north. As it's contracting up, it's moving in and in and up. As it moves out to the southern hemisphere summer, down and out. Down and out. Up and in. Now, it can't get any easier than that. Now, for you who have been following me, you know all my videos are, are hidden. 
what do they call it? Shadow banned. They don't want the masses understanding all this stuff, knowing this stuff. They want you all to believe the stupid crap here. All the ancients knew all this. It's all described in all the ancient books. The Apocrypha, all the religious stories are all about the overlay. The overlay and the Physicopiscus at the time of the Physicopiscus because it's the most divine period and that's what all religion's about because that is that concerns man's uh, consciousness and his spiritual awakening. You don't leave this stupid realm of ours till you go to your rebirth and it's to do with the Physicopiscus, the overlay. It's the only time that man can leave the matrix is after his rebirth. This is why they have Virgin Mary. This is why they have the Virgin Mary sitting sitting in this oval because that's the Physicopiscus. Why is Virgin Mary in there? Mary represents the moon. It's all a celestial alignment. As above, so below. Physical below, spiritual above. Man, man has to come to realize there's a spiritual nature to him that he has to wake up and you reunite, become singularity, physical, spiritual, become one. Because we're, we're in a dual world, male and female. Okay? So it's all about that overlay. Virgin Mary is the moon, and she's the one that gives spiritual birth, and it's all to do with your full moon sign. The full moon sign, the sign you it was in at the, time, the moment of your conception. Nothing to do with physical birth no that's your sun sign coming into the light of the world moon sign is it's she's the mother of creation you were created at conception then it goes on from there okay man is of the earth it's all described in the physics of the earth the same cycle there's a dual story in religion there's two christ there's christ the son of earth and there's Christ, the Son of Man. The Son within man, the Son within earth. If you want to understand more of this stuff, you need to go to my Patreon. Tomb of Illumination. Go straight to pa uh, Saints. Although, you know, if you've got a bit of coin later, you, you're gonna, you might want to invest in just popping into Sovereign and uh, Floodgates. Floodgates is a foundation it's to do with the Physicopiscus, a foundation to all the videos I put on saints. You don't need the foundation, just go straight to saints. There's all the videos there to, concerning all this, but a lot of the spiritual aspect of earth and how you escape the matrix about waking up, your rebirth. A lot of, no, not, just realize 99% of the world out there, the drongos, they don't want to accept all this stuff. So my site's not for them. That's why you have to go through the paywall because only those who are seeking will find. Okay, sorry to do that to you, but the way it goes. Thanks for watching, guys.